How to create your own rules to allow and block sites with Plucky. First, visit the site that you want to create a rule for. Then click the Plucky extension icon. On the new rule page, you will see this button here that indicates what will happen if you click on it. In this case, it will allow the site that I'm on right now, wikipedia.org. If I wanted to instead only allow the page that I'm on, not the entire site, if I click location, I'll get these options here and I can select just the page that I'm on and allow that. I have a two second delay and there we go. Now I have images allowed on this article only. If I went over to Italian cuisine, I don't have images on this page because I did not allow the entire site. If I go to bing.com and click the plucky extension icon, notice that it's already been updated to bing.com. I can click on action this time and change allow to block and I'm already blocking images and videos on Bing with the classic config, but if I wanted to do a traditional style block where I get a block page instead of a page with just text, then I can click the button now. And you can see it's already updated to blockbing.com. Now going over to YouTube, I can click the extension icon again, and I'm going to leave this as it is, but I'm going to click advanced this time, and I'm going to select media type and I'm going to select video. Now when I click this button, allow youtube.com video, you will see that I can now play videos on YouTube, but images are still blocked. That is, the thumbnails are blocked. Lastly, going back to the new rule page, we have schedule, where we can create scheduled rules. If I wanted to allow a site for the next 30 minutes, I could do that. Or I could click on other and I can create a schedule so that every week, say on the weekends from 9 to 10 a.m., I have access to my sites then.